Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to tell you guys how I stopped raging at video games. Now, before I get into this, when I say stopped raging at video games, it's for the most part. I will still rage at video games, I still get mad at video games, you know, it always happens. But this is how I personally stopped raging at video games. So, number one, okay, is... I identified things that I can't control, okay? So, and this is kind of, this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna use Rainbow Six Siege as an example because Rainbow Six Siege, I was like, I always rage at Rainbow Six Siege. Let's not do it. Is, I looked at the game and I said, okay, you have five teammates or four teammates. I can't communicate with any of them. Whatever they do, I'm not gonna get mad at them right? Because I can't control them. So I can have a game where um, we have five teammates, four of them die. Or five people, all of my teammates die except for me. I'm not going to get mad at them because it's, there's no point to getting mad at them, right? I'm just going to focus on what I can do. The second thing that I do is I always ask myself what I could do to get better at what just happened, okay? So let's say um, a simple gunfight, right? I'm playing Siege, I run out of spawn, I get spawn trapped. What could I have done differently? Okay, I'm gonna try this next time. I'm gonna try this next time. I'm gonna try this next time, right? I will still get mad if I get spawn killed 10 times in a row. Trust me, I, it happens to me, I'm like, God, but then the third thing is I focus that anger on myself, okay? I'm very insular about this, is if I get mad, I'll get mad at myself for not changing, and then I'll change and not be mad. Because uh, one of the hardest things to ever do when you play video games is once you start raging, is to stop raging, okay? It's very hard to do. Sometimes this happens to me, and I'll just, you know, that's kind of what I do. So let's go back to the 1v5 situation. So let's say five, you know, 5v5, me and four teammates and the five enemies. The four teammates die, okay? I'm going to be like, okay, there's going to be like three people chasing me. If I kill one, good, I killed one. I die from another one. I'm like, what could I have possibly done to got done better in that situation? Usually the answer is be more accurate. That's... Nine times out of ten, the answer. And it's usually the answer. So what happened is I stopped raging at video games. And in these situations, I just be, be more accurate, be more accurate. And eventually, there's that situation came up where it boiled down to a 1v5 situation. And I won the 1v5. I, you know, I knew, okay, don't run out here. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. And from just sitting there and analyzing myself, from playing this game instead of being mad at teammates, even if the situation is 0% winnable, still asking myself, what could I do to do better? I won my 1v5 and it was epic, you know? And then we won, you know, we won the game because it was pretty dope. Now, something else that I do, number four, is I look and I'm like, I identify places where I get lucky, if that makes any sense. This is to keep it so that you can kind of keep your ego in check. Because most of the time, I think that for me, I rage at video games if I have a, like a, quote, ego problem. So I think I should be doing better or something like that. Or I think I'm better than the other players and I'm not. So, like, I'll do something where, like, I hit fire through a barricade door. And I'm like, I get a headshot. And I'm like, was that luck? Yeah. That was just luck. Someone's like, oh, it's good. I'm like, no, 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 it was luck. It's fine. You know, let's use this to our advantage. There's some times where I'm like, it's a mix between luck and skill. You know, I knew an enemy was behind there and I shot at it and they died. You know, identifying where luck is on your side is very important. So in that 1v5 situation, I got lucky because a bunch of people missed at me. <laughs> like, I won that 1v5 because people missed at me. So then again, I'm like, okay, well, what could I do to do better? So, you know, I still... If you can identify where luck is and you can identify what's not under your control, then you can improve everything. And if you change the game from raging into video game to how can I improve, 
that very subtle change, I'm going to stop raging at the video games. And I very, you know, I very rarely, I think, rage at video games. I still get mad. You know, um, I'll get mad. Not so much rage. I still, there's a couple times I rage. I definitely still get mad. But, you know, at the end of the day, I realize that it's just a video game, even though I love it. I want to win. It's still a video game. And that's kind of how that all plays out. So that's really it for this video, guys. Um, this is how I stopped raging at video games, for the most part. You're always going to rage at video games. There's no getting around it. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on video games. I'm a super casual gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. How many times have I said video games in this video? A lot. And I'll see you guys next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post. Don't whatever I decide to make.